So here we are continuing with the RX Android and RX Java course for beginners, and we're ready to move on to disposables. So if you, uh, you're, you've been following along with the course, last time we did an introduction to observables and observers, and now I'm clicking right here, going to the observers article. So uh, you can read this if you want. Like I, like I said, if you're familiar with the course, uh, you know that I'm, I'm writing articles and I'm also doing video. So if you want to read the article, it's, it's posted on my website here. But uh, I'm just going to jump right into Android Studio, and we're going to start talking about observers. So, or sorry, we're going to start talking about disposables. So, uh, so what is a disposable? That's kind of the first question. Uh, so I guess to answer the question with another question, uh, what do you think happens to an observer, so something that is subscribed to an observable, uh, what do you think happens to them when uh, they're no longer needed? So if you have a, a observer looking at something on in main activity, say, <clears throat> or any Mac activity for that matter, uh, what happens when that, that activity is destroyed? What happens to those observers? They're, they're no longer needed. So a disposable is something that uh, helps to kind of keep track of all the observers that you're using and then how to kind of clean them up when you no longer need them. So what we can do here is we can create something called a composite disposable object. I'm just going to call it disposables equals new composite disposable. And then anytime you subscribe an observer to an observable, uh, you'll have this unsubscribe method be made available to you. So what, what you can do is just write disposable dot add and then and reference that disposable and that disposable gets added to the list of disposables uh, for this activity. Now if you if you have uh, if you're using MVVM or any kind of other architecture uh, you you might want to keep track of disposables in your view model but since we just have a single activity in this example uh, I'm going to be keeping track of them actually in in the activity itself. So now since we're using it in an activity uh, where do we want to actually kind of clean up those disposables? Well, obviously the uh, the on destroy method makes sense for that. So I'm pressing Control O, going to on destroy, and I can write disposables dot clear. Uh, there's a couple options when it comes to actually getting rid of disposables and cleaning them up. So if I write disposables dot clear, or I can also write um, disposables dot dispose. So the difference between disposable dot clear and disposable dot dispose is dispose will uh, all, it will no longer allow anything to subscribe to the observable that w that was previously uh, being observed. So dispose is kind of like a like a hard clear, basically. Whereas clear will just remove all of the uh, all of the uh, the subscribers, all of the observers, uh, without basically disabling the observable. So in general, it's probably good to use clear in almost all cases. I personally can't think of a case when I would want to use dispose. So clear is a good, uh, probably a good rule of thumb just to use that. Um, if you were using a view model, you would want to clear the disposables in the on cleared method. So actually I have a view model in this in this project. So uh, just don't don't pay attention to any of the code that's in here. But what you would do is you would insert the on cleared method and inside the on cleared method is where you'd want to clear your disposables. So if you are using MVVM and, and view models, then that is where you would want to clear your disposables. Now, uh, as you kind of uh, use RxJava, as you go through this course even, you're going to notice that uh, the only way, there's not only one way to create observers and basically subscribe to observables. Uh, you can also use other listeners or other other uh, observables, I guess would be the correct term. Like for example, I could go task observable dot subscribe, and I could go I could create a new something called a consumer. And there's a couple other interfaces like this. So I'd write uh, on uh, new consumer, and uh, the the point of this is that the subscribe method will always return a disposable object regardless of what you use to subscribe. So if I hold down the control button here, you can see that it returns a disposable object. And up here, if I hold down uh, control, uh, this one returns void only because it has the onSubscribe method. So if, if it has an onSubscribe method, it will not return a disposable. But if it does if it does not have the onSubscribe method, then it will return a disposable. And in that case, you could just do something like disposables.add and you would add this to your list of disposables like that. So just another way to do the exact same thing. So that's, uh, that's gonna be it for disposables. And in the next video, we're gonna talk about 
operators. We're going to start talking about operators, which is a huge part of RxJava other than the uh, threading options.